It's not every day we come across a new breed of talent in boxing. And it's not every day we come across a puncher that exceeds all expectations of their weight class. But for this young fighter, an opponent is just one more bowling pin to demolish. Monster! After climbing his way to the top spot on the pound-for-pound pound list and steamrolling his way through the Super Series last year, Naoya Inoue sure is proving to be one of boxing's best all-rounded fighters and carrying a devastating knockout power and lightning hand speed it's no doubt it will take yet another special fighter to cause him any kind of trouble at all. This dude is dominating world-class opposition like nobody's business. He is a badass little dude. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, you know, some precision, power, speed, everything. And the guy's, you know, just very little, you know? Unbelievable. So as always, if you'd kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to help our channel grow further. As we take a look at 10 Naoya Inoue knockouts that shock the world. And it seems like he's fighting the best, but he's dominating the best. So, you know, you have to take your hat off to a guy that's dominating the best. Beforehand, though the monster's resume shows a perfect 19-0 winning streak, with 16 knockouts and an 84% knockout to win ratio, we've chosen to break down just 10 knockouts from the early half, right up until the latter of Inoue's career. Debuting onto the pro scene in late 2012, Inoue faced Philippine fighter Kreisen Omayao, a first test in the pro ranks that would surely see a big step up from the amateurs. And at just 19 years of age, demonstrated exactly why he was ready for the big time. As the rounds progressed, Inoue's dominant jab and constant pressure determined the fight. And after just four rounds, the sickening left of the body ended Omayel in brutal fashion. Two years on, and just five bouts later, Inoue was already boxing for world recognition as he challenged Mexican WBC champion Adrian Hernandez for the flyweight title. And with just two defeats on his record prior, might have even had some say this was the first real test of his career. Now coming out of the gate from the opening bell told a completely different story as Inoue went to work landing punch-perfect combinations relentlessly, not only to establish his power early, but demonstrating that he possessed a high level of counter-punching ability also. Though the Mexican was able to stand his ground at times, six rounds of Inoue's onslaught proved to be all too much on the night of the defending champion. Three bouts later, in third defense of his flyweight title, Inoue faced Warlito Parrenez, another Filipino opponent, but one which already been dealt six defeats prior to the bout. <laughs> and as expected, it wasn't long before the sheer brilliance of the monster prevailed landing endless power shots with complete ease, and by the second, landing a textbook 1-2 that ultimately finished the fight. Two years forward, a clash with former two-weight world champion Kohai Kono was on the cards. And by now, an 11 win streak, including nine KOs, was slowly starting to gain the young monster some serious momentum under his belt. Okay. Midori no kono. 
Though Inoue is struggling to pin Kono down in the initial stages due to his awkward movement and style, three rounds was all it took to land that single game changer of a shot, putting him right back in the driver's seat. Pressing forward to the sixth, a brief heated exchange between the two men started what was only going to be the beginning of the end. Swiftly moving forward led to a clash with Mexico's Ricardo Rodriguez, a 16-3 fighter that was supposedly meant to be a handful and a much more challenging assignment for Inoue. But early it was obvious that Inoue's power and precision fared to be noticeably more effective throughout the fight. And after penetrating Rodriguez's guard endlessly and knocking him down early in the third, it was clear that the bout was only going one way. Seven defenses on, experienced French challenger Yoan Boyu posed a new kind of threat carrying all the advantages of physical attributes. But it appeared all this was completely nullified on the night as the Japanese star showcased the standout and far more superior boxing ability out of the two men. Stunning Boyu late in the first and forcing them into survival mode for two more grueling rounds. Set up a perfectly landed hook to the rib cage, forcing the fight to a finish. Later that year, Inoue entered the Bantamweight Super Series a tournament in which catapulted his name further into the history books, and also giving him the ultimate recognition of being one of boxing's most dangerous punchers of today. First up, Juan Carlos Payano, an experienced southpaw holding only one loss on his record prior. But this clearly meant very little to the Japanese monster, as 60 seconds was all it took to dispose of his first name of the tournament. <laughs> Moving on, it was seven months down the line where Inoue's next challenge awaited ahead in the semi-final showdown. A fight with Puerto Rico's Emmanuel Rodriguez set out to be his biggest challenge yet, and one that was more than capable of causing the upset at the time. His, his weight is quite heavily on that front foot too, but we know what he can bring. A good start from the opening bell for the Puerto Rican had him equally winning the first round. But it wasn't until the second where the difference in levels prevailed. And after two more knockdowns momentarily after, bagged Inoue his 18th consecutive win. Left to the body, down goes Rodriguez. He looks at the corner and he shakes his head and he's not going to make it. Two minutes left in the round, down he goes again. And I'm sure that that is going to be that. He's down for a third time within the space of of all, though the final of the tournament against Nonito Donaire didn't end in the knockout victory as to the others, the 12-round toe-to-toe war was no doubtedly going to be a contender for fight of the year. Slightly taller, slightly bigger, but the bigger punch is certainly a new in there. An all-action competitive fight between two of the very best, and one that had fans on the edge of their seats all night. An acid test for Inoue battling against a physically bigger man, and also a test of how well he fares at the very top of the food chain. It's good stuff from Dene, it really is, you know, forcing the pace, putting pressure on Inoue that we've never seen before. Evenly matched throughout, a hard right hand from Donaire swayed the fight in his favor mid fight. But after displaying a granite chin and bulletproof mentality, a thunderous blow to the body gave Inoue the latter rounds ending in an ultimate victory, 
winning the tournament. Now, really good by the, and the lovely left to the body. Lovely shot.